Hi, welcome back to another video which will discuss about housekeeping in hospitals and hostels. First, let us understand housekeeping in other institutions as compared to hotels. Whether it be in a hotel, hospital, university or other residential establishment, the main purpose of the housekeeping and the accommodation department is to provide a clean, comfortable and attractive environment for all those who use the premises and those services must be provided in such a way that they do not lead to any safety, fire or health hazards. Hygiene is of particular importance with control of pathogenic organisms and the prevention of cross infection becoming an important factor. Now let us understand the difference between the housekeeping of hotel and other institution. Housekeeping in hotel is linked to profit generation whereas housekeeping in other institution is practiced for the welfare. In housekeeping of the hotel, the department is responsible for cleaning and making a room ready which is sold. Once when the room is sold, the income that is generated from the room rent is the profit to the organization. Therefore, housekeeping in hotel is linked to profit generation, whereas in any other institution, it is done purely for the welfare of the human beings. Let us discuss the next slide. And let us begin about the housekeeping in hospital. But before going to the housekeeping of hospital, let us quickly recall what is hospital. A hospital is an institution in which the sick, injured patients are received and treated. A public or private institution founded for reception and cure of persons diseased in body or mind or disabled, infirm or dependent and in which they are treated either at their own expenses or sometimes by charity in whole or in part. There could be various other definitions of hospital. You are free to select any definition of hospital from any source. Now let us discuss about housekeeping in hospitals. Hospital housekeeping involves cleaning and maintaining a medical institution or facility. Hospital housekeeping is governed by a strict regulation and codes requiring sanitary conditions. Hospitals rely upon housekeepers diligently performing their assigned duties which include number one linens. Hospital housekeepers gather wash and iron dirty bed linens scrubs and gowns on daily basis. Housekeepers are also responsible for inspecting linens for wear and tear, mending them when possible and discarding them when they can't be mended. Number two, facilities covered. Hospital housekeepers get clean all parts of the hospital, including waiting areas, 
staff areas, examination rooms, wards, agonistic testing rooms and operating rooms. Housekeepers also organizes for mopping floors, sterilizing surfaces and cleaning windows and other surfaces. Number 3. Patient Rooms In patient room, hospital housekeepers organizes for clean bathrooms, changing of bed linens, cleaning of floors, dusting of various surfaces, washing of windows and other areas. When a patient is moved from the room, the hospital housekeeping staff sanitizes the room with specialized cleaning agents and prepares it for the next patient. Number 4. Waste Hospital Housekeeper Department ensures to get empty garbage cans and dispose of trash. Housekeeping Department is also responsible for attending to recyclables according to the hospital's regulations and properly disposing of the medical waste. Number 5. Other duties. Managers in hospital housekeeping may be responsible for scheduling routine maintenance to the facilities, heating, cooling, water and sewage systems. They also need to make necessary arrangement of equipment such as vacuum cleaners, floor polisher, soil extractor, high pressure water jet for cleaning rough surfaces and wall cleaning, housekeeper's cart, trash collection containers, mop buckets, and other tools and signages. Now let us discuss in this particular slide about the hierarchy of housekeeping in hospital. This particular hierarchy is the modern hierarchy being followed in many multinational hospitals. However, there could be various other hierarchies as well. We will also discuss about some other hierarchies in the slides to come. This typical hierarchy of the contemporary period is that the hospital is headed by CEO that is chief executive officer. Under chief executive officer we have manager operations and under manager operations we have manager housekeeping. Under manager housekeeping we have the supervisors of the housekeeping to support and assist the manager of the housekeeping and under supervisors we have housemans, we have the linen and the laundry attendants, we have the pest control team, we have the housekeeping store team and the biomedical waste management team and these teams together takes care of housekeeping especially in the contemporary period. However, let us discuss about a typical housekeeping hierarchy of a hospital. Here you can see on top the administrator could be with any designation, could be a CEO or any other designation as per the policy of the hospital. Under administrator, the typical hierarchy speaks about the term domestic service manager which in sort is also known as DSM or in some places this particular designation is also called as district advisor or DA. Now under them, depends depending on the size of the hospital which is decided on the number of beds that the hospital has, there can be domestic service manager, assistant domestic service manager, senior housekeeper, 
domestic supervisors or ward housekeepers, domestic assistant, ward orderlies or housekeeping aides, etc. So this hierarchy says and reflects that hierarchy will differ from hospital to hospital and it will also depend on the number of beds that the hospital is having. However, let us discuss one more hierarchy of the housekeeping in the hospital. So any hospital housekeeping is headed by the administrator followed by and the administrator is assisted by district advisor or the domestic service manager and in short they can be called as DA or DSM. Under domestic service manager we have assistant domestic service manager and in short they are called as ADSM. Under ADSM we have domestic supervisor or ward housekeepers and under ward housekeeper or the domestic supervisors we have domestic assistants or the ward orderlies and then under these domestic supervisors and in some cases under this assistant ward orderlies we may have housemans, linen and laundry, pest control, housekeeping stores and biomedical waste management team. Usually these domestic assistant or ward orderlies will take care of all the patient wards whereas houseman and maids will take care of the public area but in some cases these people also may assist the ward orderlies or domestic assistant. Similarly, linen and laundry will support the entire housekeeping of the hospital with the linen and the laundry washing of the linens and all. And then pest control takes care of the pest in entire campus. Housekeeping stores will be storing all the items required to support the facilities of the housekeeping in hospital. And biomedical waste management is very, very important in any hospital because it is very very difficult to handle with this particular waste and it is very very important to handle these wastes properly to maintain proper sanitation and hygiene in the hospital. With this we will proceed to the next slide which speaks about the hospital but it concludes about whatever we have discussed till now in relation to housekeeping in hospital. In most cases, the action required of a person working in hospital housekeeping is same as required by the person working in the hotel housekeeping. The uniqueness of hospitals and healthcare institutions become evident. However, when one investigates the special care and consideration that must be taken when dealing with following the daily and terminal disinfection of patient rooms, the terminal cleaning of hospital surgical suites, the deposition of used needles, syringes and saps, the disposal of infectious paste. With this, we conclude the discussion about the housekeeping in hospital. However, from next slides, we will discuss about housekeeping in hostel. Traditionally, hostels were only popular with budget conscious travelers due to low price. Recently, however, thousands of new luxury youth hostels have been opening worldwide offering much improved environmental factor to lure guests but still at competitive prices. However, all of us are aware that there are hostels in many educational institutions such as schools, colleges, universities and we also have some other hostels in our society for working women and many other such hostels. So let us see about the housekeeping of the hostel. As such, maintaining cleanliness has become an ever important factor for hostels. Everybody wants a clean, hygienic and sanitized environment and everybody has right to be healthy. Hence, housekeeping in hostel is of great importance for all the inmates of the hostels. Each hostel has a warden 
who is the administrative head and supervises the hostel staff now let us see the hierarchy of hostel housekeeping hostel housekeeping could be headed by a bursar a warden or a housekeeper depends from organization to organization then either the bursar warden or the housekeeper has got two different sections one is related to food and beverage that is catering and the designation could be assistant catering or catering assistant and then the second wing is related to accommodation and cleanliness hygiene and sanitation and there we have assistant housekeeping or housekeeping assistant under the assistant catering we have cooks waiters and the sweepers or the kitchen stewarding employees whereas under assistant housekeeping we have the cleaners or the sweepers the porters and the linen maids but again this hierarchy will differ from hostel to hostel based on its size and the policy of the institution or the organization wherever the hostel is located now let us see a typical hostel housekeeping hierarchy so structure and staffing the warden also sees to the smooth running of the hostels the hostel unit has the following categories of staff warden is the head of any hostel as far as the housekeeping of the hostel is concerned under warden will have housekeeper under housekeeper we have housekeeping supervisors under supervisors we may have chief porters senior porters and porters or we may have sweepers depends on the size of the organization and policy of the organization or the hostel with this we will try to understand the steps in cleaning the room in hostel the bed is to be made so make a bed this is to be done by the inmates of the hostel in most of the cases however in some cases hostels may also be managed and even the rooms could be cleaned maintained and prepared and serviced by the housekeeping department make a bed straighten the sheets and blanket it will make a big difference in a look of room living usually makes the bed a focal point grab a trash whether it's crumbled up draft of a history essay or empty pizza boxes from breakfast grabbing all of the trash out of a room will make a big difference grab a trash bag and dump it all contain the laundry stuff all of the dirty laundry into hampers or dirty clothes basket if hampers are overflowing it may be time to schedule a laundry day use a basket to grab lost items put anything in the basket that needs to be filled put away return to its owners etc wipe down surfaces use an all purpose cleaner and wipe down all of the washable surfaces with a paper towel or all purpose wipe don't worry about the tough stuck on stuff just quickly wipe down the entire surface tackle the floor sweep or vacuum the floor focusing only on the visible part of the floor put away the cleaning equipment and cleaning agents now let us understand the note about the hostel housekeeping usually room inmates should clean their room every day and keep the dustbins outside their room so usually the hostel rooms are cleaned by the inmates itself or inmates themselves however it depends if the hostel is of high standard in that case this work could be taken care by the housekeeping of the hostel however in both cases the public areas and restrooms are cleaned by the housekeeping employees for linen uniform and other cloth washing purpose hostel may have the washing machine facility on the premises laundry commercial laundry facilities hostel inmates need to take care of their belonging themselves 
so with this we discussed about the housekeeping in hospital and hostel hope we had a good journey through this particular video wish you all a safe and a com comfortable stay looking forward to meet with you with yet another video on some interesting topic thank you bye bye take care